Hey guys, John here from Sonic Drive Studio. I hope you're all doing well. Time for something fun and exciting, a new series for the channel. That is, if you guys end up enjoying this. So the idea or concept is simple. I try a guitar amplifier or basically anything that generates a guitar tone. So it could also be a pedal or a modeler of some kind. And I see if it works well with high gain tones. So basically high gain rock and metal tones. I'm primarily a rock and metal guy anyway, so this is right up my alley. And I know that a lot of you guys also enjoy those genres, so I hope you will enjoy this too. And I know it's not a super new or original concept, but I hope it will be fun and interesting nonetheless. So in this first episode, we're going to try some high gain rock and metal tones with the Using Kettner Black Spirit 200. You may have seen this amp on the channel before. It's a pretty interesting amplifier. I already did a bunch of videos on this, but it's an interesting amplifier because it's basically a solid state amplifier that aims to emulate that true tube tone and feel. And this little spirit tone generator over here, this component basically takes care of that. So it's essentially that sort of secret sauce that aims to recreate that tube response basically. Now this amp has a ton of cool features, bells and whistles, but for this video, we're just gonna focus on the high gain tones. Now this amp has four channels. We've got a clean, a crunch and a lead and an ultra channel. And both the lead and ultra channels are high gain. So we're gonna use those channels. The lead channel is a bit more rock sounding, a bit more meaty sounding with a bit more mid range content. And the ultra channel is more modern sounding. It's a bit more scooped and it has more gain. And this app also features the boost function over here, which I will use on all the clips in this video. It basically adds more gain and a bit more focus to the tones. Let's go ahead and start with the lead channel, which is probably my favorite channel on this amplifier. And let's try some heavy rock and sort of metal riffs with my ESP LTD NW44 guitar, the one with the bare knuckle aftermath pickup in it. And as I said, the boost function will be on. And this amp also has the very unique sagging control, which basically emulates tube sag, so power tube sag, or basically power tube compression. But for this clip, I'm gonna turn that off all the way just to keep the tones clear and punchy. I'm not using a load box or a reactive load this time. We're going out through the red box DI into my interface and then into a York Audio impulse response from the MES 4120S cabinet. That's based on a Mesa Boogie 4x12 cabinet with V30s and I'm using Mic Mix 01, which is a blend between a 57 and a 121 mic. So basically a York Audio Mesa Boogie cab tone. All right, let's see if this amplifier can do high gain tones. Let's check it out. Awesome. Not bad. Not bad at all. The cool thing about this amplifier is that despite the fact that it does not have tubes, it still sounds pretty organic and natural to my ears anyway. Let's take a closer listen and check out some isolated riffs as well.
Nice, I dig it. So I guess we can already conclude that this amplifier can indeed handle high gain tones, but we haven't even checked out the ultra channel yet. So we're gonna do that right now. And since the ultra channel is a bit more modern and scooped sounding, sort of kind of like a rectifier basically, I'm gonna use a guitar with a nice mid-range push. So a guitar with Fishman Fluence modern pickups. Those pickups can kind of sound as if there is a tube screamer up front. So it makes everything sound a little bit more tight and focused. And as you'll get to hear, the ultra channel sounds very different from the lead channel. And the guitar that I'm gonna use is my ESP LTD Phoenix Black Metal, as I said, with the Fishman Fluence in the bridge position. And I'm gonna use the active voicing. So the ultra channel with the boost on, and this time for the sagging control, I am dialing in a little bit of that just for some natural tube compression. So I have it set at around two or so, just so that it's barely kicking in basically. I'm using the same York Audio MES412 OS cabinet, but this time I'm using the JP Mic Mix. Here we go. Right, that sounded pretty good as well. I think that I personally still prefer the lead channel on this amplifier, but the ultra channel still sounds fine. It's just a little bit more scooped and a little bit more gainy than the lead channel. I prefer the meat, sort of the mids and the meat that the lead channel has to offer. Anyway, let's also check out some isolated riffs. Here we go. Great, so again, I think we can conclude that this amplifier is definitely capable of producing some great high gain tones. But of course, I'd love to know your thoughts as well. So be sure to drop a comment in the comment section down below to let me know if you also agree with me that this amplifier is capable of producing some great high gain tones or not. And also, do you think that this amp really sounds like a solid state amplifier or does it sound quite tube-like? Let me know. Perhaps I should also do a sort of blind test comparison in which I compare this solid state amplifier to an actual tube amplifier. That could also be fun and interesting. That's all for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please drop a comment and a like down below as it really helps the channel out. I'd hugely appreciate that. And you can also follow us on our studio on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.